Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a very, very exciting unboxing video for you today. This comes from Stationery Pal. They reached out to me again asking if I would like to choose some items to share with you guys and also do a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. So this is my third time getting some items from Stationery Pal and they come in these fun boxes each time. You can see this cool illustration at the top or image and then it's wrapped in this cute pink heart bubble wrap and just open up that sticker. It comes with this thank you card here that I will definitely put into one of my journals to document this wonderful package. They always come with this fun shredded paper as well and confetti colored confetti and these extra goodies um, so we've got a little bear and a bell this time it also came with some of these badges <laughs> they're so adorable with um, bunny rabbits there's a brown one a gray one and a white one with a cute little flower my cat was very interested in what these were uh, there was a What's it called? A rubber ducky and it squeaks. Keanu wasn't impressed with the squeak. I thought he might want to play with it and maybe um, the, the squeaky noise would make him want to um, yeah, play with it, but he was quite scared of the noise. <laughs> he didn't want anything to do with that duck. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I was going to remove all of this extra shredded paper. I keep all the confetti, actually. I like using that for some art journal page spreads and just found an extra little goodie here this is a little clip last time they sent a clip and it was a clear heart clip a plastic heart and i thought that was so adorable okay so look at all these goodies in here um i tend to forget what i have chosen so i'll start off with some of the items that i've gotten previously so those binder clips always come in handy. I use them to hang up things on my wall. I use them to obviously paper clip or hold open pages in my journal. Um, and I also use them to hold open the pages of a book when I'm reading a book. <laughs> this one I got last time as well. It's a little mini binder or baby binder with a clear cover and it has some pockets and it's got the rose gold and also comes with these three little pouches so you can stick in some stickers or ephemera in the back there and yeah I got one of these for a birthday present for a friend and so I just love these as well these just are so adorable and I thought you can create little small pages with maybe a quote or something and yeah we'll have fun with that I just like how it looks as well as decor decoration <laughs> on my shelf. I tried out a bunch of pens this time. A white, um, I'm not sure what it's called, jelly roll pen. This black Pentel, Pentax Energel pen. I'm not sure what to call what it's called. A Sarasa pen in brown. Um, and there was also one other pen that I missed, but I'll show you that in a second. I also got these stickers. Uh, they're sort of transparent stickers. I got a purple, blue pack and a pink pack and I love these. I get these all the time. Any chance I can get these are so wonderful for collage, for decoration, journal cards, all types of things. Oh, here's that other pen. It's a Muji or Muji blue pen. So the four colours that I tend to use or with my journaling, good colours to use. Black, blue, brown for vintage pages and white to go on top of things like black paper. And these are all pens that I wanted to try when I Google best pens for journaling. Uh, these are pens that come up at the top of the list. So I thought I'll give them a go and yeah, just see if I can find a new favorite pen that works really well, shows up well on the page and is nice to use, quick drying, doesn't bleed, all that kind of stuff. So we'll try those out. This time I also got some interesting uh, new supplies. So I got some oil pastels. And because yeah, I'm getting more into art journaling recently, this is why I got these items, the pens, the uh, oil pastels, and this pack here, which is a pack of water-soluble 
pencils and I've had watercolor pencils before um, but now I wanted to try water soluble to see the difference and I think the difference is that watercolor if you keep applying water it will always react but with water soluble pencils I believe once it dries it's set and if, even if you add more water it won't change and I like the idea of that I like just adding the water doing something and then coming away going back and not being worried that I'm going to change it if I add other layers and more water and stuff like that I think that's the right way I've got that the wrong way around but we'll see how we go with that one um, and yeah just like using different media for my art journal pages so that will be fun to play around with all of these different types of things and now I have got this pack or booklet of papers so vintage style collage papers with flowers on the front and yeah I thought this might be fun for putting into pockets as general cards because you can write on the back but also just to decorate pages maybe create my own journal cards with these create my own collages and this can be the focal image on top of the collage yeah lots of ways you could use that so you get multiples of each design so that is quite fun and then I I'm, sh I'm trying to save my favorite items to last so just rummaging through here and you can see all these packs have that vintage um, look to them so that's kind of my favorite style is the vintage style so definitely love picking up all different types of vintage goodies um, whenever I can as well and these two packs are paper packs uh, well there's got three different types of things in it there's vellum sticker paper and then just normal paper I believe and here this vellum is just so stunning isn't it like the design is beautiful with the script and the flowers and the butterfly but also the gold foil oh I hope the light is picking that up it's just gorgeous so really really stunning papers I like the idea of using vellum for pockets so the pockets themselves look wonderful and then you put something inside of course but yeah I just love yeah look at this one isn't that just beautiful so I think I will yeah cut those up and turn them into pockets maybe I'll even turn them into journal cards back them onto coffee guide paper I'm not too sure again so many ways to use these and you get these papers as well where the foil shows up really nicely and then at the back you have this random assortment of uh, sticker paper so that is quite fun uh, while I've got you here let me just mention the giveaway I don't want to forget that so Station Repel are going to be doing a giveaway for this back to school event and the giveaway is for I believe some sort of mystery pack from them and the only requirement that they have for this giveaway is that you be a subscriber to the Stationery Pal YouTube channel. So I will link that down below in the description box, along with the guidelines about this giveaway. Um, and then they want me to choose a winner at random. So I will literally just do the random YouTube comment picker. Let, obviously leave a comment letting me know that you're entering the giveaway and that you have subscribed to Stationery Pal's channel. And then, yeah, I will leave this giveaway open for about a week and then I will select a winner through that random YouTube comment picker and basically then I will email Stationery Pal and let them know who won um, and I guess I'll have to get your email so I will send them your email so that they can get in touch with you I guess to get your address and send you the pack so a mystery set that's what it's called the prize is a mystery set so if you'd like to enter that just check the details down below there's also a code in the description box for a discount and so many of you have actually been using that discount code so big thank you to all of you um, it is an affiliate link I think that's what it's called so if you get something from them it helps me out as well um, and also what am I saying uh, yeah obviously the link will be down below to their website they've got so many goodies I can spend hours just looking at different things and it takes me quite a while to narrow down the items in my um, in my cart <laughs> so yeah uh, these this is the other pack and isn't it just gorgeous as well lovely vintage designs absolutely 
stunning anyway so that link to that discount code and the website will be in the description box of every one of my videos so anytime that you want to pick up some new supplies uh, you can feel free to use that code for a discount um, and yeah big big thank you to all of you who have already used that uh, code I hope you've gotten some really great goodies yourself I mean I've heard from quite a few of you saying that you've used that code and have been excited to receive goodies as well from the stationery pal so if there's anything that you see here that you like in particular I will have the links to these in the description box as well but honestly you can spend a long time just searching around we've got so many different craft supplies art supplies journaling supplies scrapbooking supplies so um yeah i'm sure you'll find lots of goodies like i do that are very very fun this one i am excited about these are i think the sticker papers but aren't they just stunning the designs look like journal covers and I think that's what I'm going to do with them. I think I'll turn them into some ready-made journal covers. They're just beautiful. So yeah, there's a sticker sheet here, sort of the vellum type, sort of transparent. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like it just as is. So I think I won't even use it as, as a sticker. I'll just glue on the entire sheet onto the front of the journal cover. Um, there's some really, really lovely designs. There are... Uh, these two here with the bird nest and eggs and the dragonflies and butterflies. These are just stunning. Oh my goodness. I think, yeah, I will have fun making some journal covers with those. Uh, the first one here says herbal. So maybe one will be butterfly, uh, sorry, garden themed, floral themed. Another will be bird themed and then another will be butterfly themed. That could be a good set of three journals <laughs> I just need to find some covers that are big enough to use those or I can always cut them down that's always an option too this pack I am excited about as well oh I love it I love first of all how big the pages are I've gotten other packs like this in the past that are very similar but the pages are all scaled down a size um, the bigger the writing space, the better in my eyes. I like large journal cards. I like larger tags. Uh, I like larger size journals. I like larger pages. So this is wonderful. A vintage set of um, like ledger papers. And again, vintage ledger papers are my favorite type of paper to use in a journal. So these are right up my alley. I'm loving, loving, loving all of these. Just great to create writing spaces, just to glue down directly onto a page as writing space. Great to rip up and use as collage as well. Great to use as journal cards to put into pockets, ready-made journal cards that you can write on the front and of course you can write on the back if you want as well. I love that music paper one. That is really, really lovely. There's some wonderful designs here. We've got some grid, we've got some graph. I love that one too with the, the text at the top lovely 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 i know it looks kind of simple but this is my favorite oh i love that one too that's probably my my ultimate favorite with that um the red lines the ledger and the words at the top very very happy with that pack there and i love how you get so many with these packs one of my favorite things is that you get bulk items um and everything coordinates of course in each pack so I absolutely love that. This pack is really cute too. It's a sticker pack. So some smaller pieces. Um, and it's like sticker ephemera. Oh, that, that vintage theme. So many goodies here. I especially love this blue label here. Love that. I think I'm going to save that one for one of my journals for a page spread that I will do. But yes, yeah, so many. There's such a good variety. And this one's a gorgeous one i really like this one of course because it's blue <laughs> the script with the butterflies is gorgeous too i oh my gosh this is so beautiful <gasps> i absolutely love it and just showing you that they are all stickers and usually with these types of stickers i don't use them as stickers i just put them into pockets when i have you know make my journals and use them as ephemera pieces rather than stickers and this one's cool too, like a photo. 
Ah, oh, love, love, love. I'm impressed by how many pieces are in this pack too. Sometimes I'm wary of getting different packs because I, it looks like from the outside that there's not much in it. Um, but very happy with that pack. I was quite surprised by how many stickers were in it. Um, so that was wonderful. This one here, I actually got in the past. I wasn't sure if I would got this one before or not because I've got all different types of packs. Um, but yeah, I remembered that I had actually, in fact, gotten this one before. And what I like about this pack as well is you get so many again. <laughs> uh, you get a lot, a lot of variety. There's different types of pieces. You've got some bigger sheets here with some florals. You get some bigger vellum sheets as well. And then you get a whole, 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 whole big, big, big stack of little stickers, which yeah, I'm again just amazed by how many there are. So these are always wonderful. I like using these as journal cards. I'll often back these ones onto coffee dye paper, or I might just leave them as is, um, and they turn into wonderful journal cards for my botanical journals. I love this one here, the rose in the jar of water. That's so pretty. Almost reminds me of the rose in Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> And then, yeah, these are just really, really lovely. Always handy to have floral images because I'm always going to be making botanical journals. It's my one of my favourite themes of journal to make, so can't go wrong with floral images. And then I'm just going to show you uh, all of these stickers. Again, you've got a good variety. There's some florals. There's quite a lot of mushrooms. There's some more vintage style pieces with text and script and writing and letters and envelopes and that kind of thing. So yeah, just an amazing variety and just so many. Again, often I use these not so much as stickers, but to put into pockets. Um, although I do use some as stickers if I'm using them for collage, like if I have a master board that I cut up into tags or to cut up into journal cards, I might add one of these stickers on top of the journal card or tag as a feature image. In fact, I really want to play around with doing some master boards this year where I don't just um, put the background of vintage papers, but also decorate it with maybe some yeah vintage stickers uh, on top and then cut it up like that. I don't know. We'll play around because obviously you don't want to cut off a sticker right in a spot where it, it doesn't look good <laughs> so you have to be a bit more strategic maybe when cutting those up but I thought that could be a fun idea because especially with these transparent washi stickers they blend in really well on top of the collage so it just looks like they're all part of the same thing so very happy with how many you get of these I spent yesterday actually uh, going through this box and just finding places for them and I have this tray where there's little compartments. I have fun putting the stickers in those compartments. So the next pack I have here, I have gotten similar packs to this in the past as well, but this one is a different one. So I, I haven't got this one before. Uh, I think it's called Dark Forest. Yeah, called Dark Forest. And yeah, this is another one of those, those packs that has a variety of different goodies um, even the backing paper is really lovely and decorative. You've got some larger pieces here. That one's just stunning. Oh my goodness, with like a ledger and tickets and roses, flowers. You get some envelope designs. You get this beautiful doily, which I always love using doilies. Uh, some smaller pieces here, the same vintage type of design. Love that postcard with that script. Beautiful. You get some thicker pieces. Uh, so these are more like almost a chipboard, not as thick as that, but I don't know, there's different weights of chipboard, so maybe they're still called chipboard. Uh, I love that key, that is really lovely. And I love that one that says the quiver of love, that's really stunning. These are all great, again, just for collage pieces, maybe focal images on a collage, wonderful to decorate tags, journal cards, all that type of thing. I quite like that unicorn as well. I think I'm going to have to save that key and that unicorn for one of my own journaling page spreads. So a lovely variety there. And then saving my favorite pack to last. I've 
wanted this for quite a while so I was very excited when they had this on their website in their shop because uh, they're always adding new stuff as well so I always check the new arrival section um, and they had these large stamp stickers so that vellum washy transparent style of sticker again which I love great for using on top of collages and again there's so many you get two of each design I believe I have the smaller version of this in um, yeah small stamps but not the washy version like the paper type version uh, so this is really fun I love the bigger size the bigger size is again I like bigger things rather than the small little pieces so the bigger size I'm really 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 loving and just yeah really lovely floral designs of course I'm loving the blue ones especially absolutely beautiful um, but yeah super excited to use these I'm thinking on top of collages those pink roses are absolutely beautiful as well some of them are more neutral they would work really well in more neutral collages too but very very happy with this pack I almost wish I got two packs actually <laughs> um, but yeah now I know where you can get them from I mean I'm sure you can get them from lots of different places but I am a big fan of stationery pal uh, so definitely to go check out the links down below and if you like what you see enter the giveaway and that is very exciting big thank you to stationery pal for sending me these items and for running this giveaway for one of you guys to win. Super excited to find out who will win that giveaway and hope you absolutely love it as well. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that unboxing as much as I did, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.